Stephanie's visit to Sir Tom Hatt's railway was coming to an end, said Sir Topham Hatt. Then he turned his attention to all the other engines. Whispered Duck, snapped James, and he was. The diesel surveyed the shed. The engines glared. The engines were furious. Next morning, they held an invitation meeting around the turntable, mumbled Gordon, said James. Spluttered Henry, cried Donald and Dallas. Their chance came sooner than expected. The diesel was pretty uncomfortable, and Inspector watched a fair making final adjustments. The wind tugged the Inspector's hat. The diesel was ready. He rode proudly toward the coaches. Then it happened. Shaking and spluttering, the diesel stopped. Meanwhile, the inspector was looking for his hat. The diesel seemed with fury as Duck and Stanley pushed him back to the shed. Exclaimed the inspector. Said Sir Topham Hat. Cried Stephanie. The engines were soon ready. Smiled Stephanie. The cavalcade moved carefully over the rails and out the open line. Puffed Stephanie. replied Duck. Soon they were whistling through Edward's station. At next, they charged at Gordon's Hill beyond. They fell the drunk of the heavy coaches here. It was hard work. At last, they were running smoothly along the line toward the big station, said Gordon. And Gordon chortled away. Next day, everyone came to say goodbye to Stephanie, whistled the engines. Then he puffed a oh shoot, replied Stephanie. Then he puffed away. What about Diesel? He slid out when no one was looking. But he left two things behind: a rather nasty smell and a battered bowler hat. <laughs>